have I been to an Olympic Games? Um, I'm not going to say have I been to the Olympics because if I wanted to be nitpick and factually accurate, the Olympics are outside that window, which I cannot see at right now uh, because it's nighttime. But the Olympics are a mountain range on the Olympic Peninsula. That's how it's got its name in Washington State in the United States of America. There's probably what the Olympics in Greece or something like that too. So I'm not going to say have I been to the Olympics because I have. I've been to Hurricane Ridge. I've done some hiking. I saw some chipmunks. I saw some deer. But I'm talking about like the sporting event. So those are the Olympic Games. Very different thing. Uh, not mountains. <laughs> uh, nothing of that large scale. Uh, just athletes competing. And so yeah, have I been to the Olympic Games? No. Have I been to the location of an Olympic Games soon after the Olympic Games were held? Yes. In 2010, the Olympic Games were held in Vancouver, British Columbia, in Canada. Uh, and I live in Washington State, United States of America. Did at that point in time too, in the Puget Sound area, city of Shoreline. And it's about, depending on traffic, let's just say two to three hour drive to Vancouver from here where I live. And so one of my friends and I, we went up to Vancouver this summer after yeah so the 2010 olympics were winter games and we went up in summer and the we didn't go into to any of this uh, event event venues if you want to call them that um where we did go and i think this was very cool and actually i would say this is if you want to know or get a glimpse as to what it is like as an athlete, I would actually say it's better to not go during the Olympics itself or maybe do something like we did. We both, like I went with my friend and she and I both really enjoyed it. We went to something called the Olympic Village and that was where the athletes lived during the Olympic Games. And we, they, I think they ended up converting it to housing or something like that, but we got there in the perfect time window because they were going to convert all the stuff to something else. And so for a very short window, they had it open to the public. And so you could go in and actually go through where the athletes lived and like where they slept. And I think they had cafeterias and stuff. We didn't go to the cafeterias. We just went through where they lived and slept and that kind of thing. And so that was kind of cool. I think the biggest thing was how big it was so the floors like a lot of olympic athletes are super tall so super tall is not an outlier in the athletes like in the athletes with with the athletes in the olympic games they're a lot a lot of them are super tall and so <laughs> the ceilings are like we're going oh my gosh those ceilings are so high and the doors they were like the biggest doors i've ever seen just like to like their sleeping quarters. And we were just like, we feel so tiny. Like <laughs> that's where the image of ath Olympic athletes as being like giants comes from. It's just pure physical size. <laughs> um, but it's not like giant, like the Olympics, like the Olympic mountains, those aren't actually giant. Um, <laughs> but as a human and just like living quarters, we were just like, that was the thing that was like the most like, uh, Kind of interesting was just like how much bigger everything was and to accommodate people who are like a foot to two I don't know if they're two feet taller than us um but like you know, a foot taller than us is like normal for an Olympic athlete and so depending on the sport and so that was just like in if you're male or female um kind of thing but that that was that was a very cool experience and they still had some of the artwork up so we went and looked at some of the artwork that was installed as part of the 2010 Olympic Games, uh, Winter Olympic Games. Yeah, uh, uh, so I have not been, but I have been to the location of a Winter Games before the venues got, or living quarters or in arts sculptures and stuff like that got converted to something else, uh, which was, had to be very recent. So if you went there like a year later after the Olympic Games, it wouldn't have been the same. So that was very cool to get that kind of a glimpse. Like it was not necessarily, we were kind of like, well, it's, we didn't really know what to expect. And it was a very cool thing. You're like, uh, I, I, 
yeah, I had no idea. <laughs> just, uh, oh yeah, I guess the athletes have to be somewhere. They're not just going to rent hotel rooms. <laughs> They're going to put them all in the same place. Um, and so you got to, like, and then if you want to go to the Olympic Games, it gives you an idea of, well, this is what the living quarters are like. This is where you'd sleep. And then your competitor might be down the hall. Might be in the next room. Um, so something like that. Uh, do I want to go to an Olympic Games? I'm not really... I, I've competed in sports and done sports my entire life, um, be it recreationally or competitively, and I'm not a, like a great spectator of sports. I do, in the past, I've watched the Olympics games. I would say the peak in my lifetime was the 2010 Winter Olympic Games and the 2000 Summer Olympic Games, and they've kind of gone downhill and like really tanked in 2012 and 2016. I guess, I guess I should include 2014 and 2018 because I think the last Olympic Games I watched was 2012 and maybe some of the 2014 stuff. 2016 was just like nothing interesting happened and I, I was like I didn't so I didn't watch anything. Uh, I read some of the news stuff afterwards and it was just like they become too political like uh, for me in, in my tastes. I, I like classiness and Liesl Jones. I'm a breaststroker um, so Liesl Liesl Jones, Liesl the Diesel Jones, um, she was a perfect classic technique. Uh, and since her, Rebecca Sony was also pretty good in her classic technique, but there haven't been very many good classic technique female breaststrokers. So that's just kind of, if I wanted to be really super zoomed in on one thing, like that I enjoyed watching, even if the rest got too political, um, that no longer exists. So too much sloppy, sloppy non-classical technique and breaststroke with the females these days. And then, so where do I hope to be in the 2020 Tokyo Olympics? If you haven't been following that, they're still keeping it the 2020 Summer Olympics, 2020 Tokyo Olympics, that name, whichever one it is, for the, that's now being held in 2021. Uh, where do I hope to be during those Olympic Games? Quite honestly, considering I haven't watched the last two Olympic Games, I'd I hope to be in Ireland, traveling, heritage travel, if I'm allowed to dream. I uh, have no idea if that'll be the case or not. Uh, do I have any shout outs as to who I hope to see get a gold medal? Yes, I'm a breaststroker, so Cody Miller in the breaststroke from the United States of America. I hope to see him or you, if you see this Cody Miller, I hope to see you get a gold medal or a medal of any sort. And if that doesn't happen, a personal best, be it on the scoreboard or in here.